everybody. Uh, my name is Trey Ratcliffe. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about HDR and photomatics. I'll show you how I use photomatics to do some basic stuff. Uh, this isn't meant to be a, a full-on tutorial or anything. Just I'll show you the basics to get you started. Um, if you want to know more, we have a multi-hour set of videos that you can uh, you can get on the main site at stuckincustoms.com. Um, also, pretty much everything I'm going through here is written out in a free tutorial, sort of a step-by-step -step written guide, so you can you can take your time and go through it. All right, let's get started. Um, first, I'm going to show you the photo that we're going to work on today. Um, take this full screen here. Um, so this is the photo that we're going to work on in Photomatics today. Uh, this is of the space shuttle, uh, the final night on the launch pad. And I, uh, I think this is a really good candidate for HDR. So I'm going to say load bracketed photos, and then I'm going to go choose those photos. All right, these are the five component photos. I'll say load. Okay, then it's just confirming what I chose. I'll say okay. And I was on a tripod in this situation, but it was a little bit shaky. So I'm going to say align source images. And I did not check this crop because I often like to go do a final crop myself at the very end. Um, if there was a lot of movement in the photo, which there wasn't in this one, uh, but I could check reduce ghosting artifacts and that takes you to another step where you can take care of that. Um, I could do noise reduction at this step if I wanted to. Um, I could also check this to reduce the chromatic aberrations. If you're not sure what all this stuff means, if you just mouse over it, it gives you a little bit of tooltip help. So I'll click pre-process. And this will then take these five photos and start running them through the HDR algorithm. And at the end of this process, I'm going to get a new set of controls, these sort of Willy Wonka-esque sliders. And I can adjust the photo so that it looks the way I want it to look. Okay, well here we are. Um, I think it already looks better. Um, it's already an improvement over any of the component uh, parts. Um, I'll go through here and show you a little bit about my favorite controls and, and how you could use it uh, for success as well. So if you want the most basic, simple stuff, they have all these presets over here that you can just click on and, and choose one that you like um, with all kinds of variety. Um, I'm sort of at the point now, since I process thousands of these, that I don't use the presets. I go over to the sliders, and I'll show you the sliders that I use the most often, rather than go through an extreme description of every one of these sliders. I think that might be a little bit of a waste of your time. I, I'll just show you the best, uh, what I use most of the time. Um, so I'm usually always using tone mapping and details enhancer. Um, I crank up the strength to 100%. Um, color saturation always varies. Okay, it depends on the component photos. Uh, but you know, if you crank it up to 100, then things get a little bit too electric to me. You know, the eye needs a break from all that saturation. Um, and not that 65 is a magic number or anything. You know, your mileage will vary based on your component photos. Luminosity. Uh, this is another one I use a lot. The further to the right it is, the kind of more painterly it becomes. The further to the left. Um, the bigger the contrast levels um, between the various subject matter. Um, oftentimes I use it somewhere between 0 and plus 5. Uh, detail contrast, this used to be called micro contrast, this allows you to adjust the detail at the sort of uh, pixel to pixel level. Okay, So the more you drag it to the right, the more detail you'll see down low. Lighting adjustments um, this is how natural or HDRE uh, the photo will look. All the way to the right, it looks most like it's right out of the camera. And then all the way to the left, especially if you go into these lighting effects, you kind of get this awful HDR look um, that looks like you're on drugs. And I like to say friends don't let friends do HDR on drugs. So uh, don't do that. I, I keep it up around uh, 0 to 5, uh, somewhere in this territory. Okay, It depends on every photo, of course. Um, I only use really three other sliders most of the time. I'll show you what those are. Uh, now, by default, black point is down here all the way to the left. Okay, 
I don't like that. I always crank it up a little bit because to me, having black in the photo is important. I think black helps give other colors their vibration. So make sure you get that off the back side there. Um, white point also changes based on the photo. If it's too high, you'll get blown out areas, right? Um, which sort of defeats the purpose of HDRing in the first place. Uh, so I'll drag that. I'll drag that down a little bit so it's, it's a little bit more manageable. Okay. Um, the last one that I use is micro smoothing, and this adjusts the uh, contrast level again on the small scale. So if I bring it up, you will see everything just gets a little bit smoother, and maybe you want that smooth look. If you go all the way to the left, things get a little bit more gritty. So if you want that gritty HDR look, this is the slider to use. Okay. And then you just click process and it will create a final image for you and you'll be good to go. Everything will be right in the world once again. Okay, and here it is. Uh, very simple, as you can see, uh, very fun and a really kind of satisfying experience, I think. Um, I might go do some final cleanup in Photoshop with some cropping and whatnot, but um, essentially you can see how simple this process is. Uh, if you want to know more, um, you know, I've got a full HDR video tutorial that's many, many hours long and uh, I guide you through all different sort of situations and final cleanup and so on and so forth. Uh, or we have a, a free tutorial on the site where you can go step by step through these as well. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a free ebook. Uh, we have all kinds of resources and, and every day I put up a new photo. Um, I talk about the experience. I talk about um, how I shot it and We've got a really nice community of a bunch of people learning together and, and so on and so forth. So you are, you're welcome to come join us. Um, okay, well, thanks for your time. I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you later. Thanks.